We're here with Shane Sturt. Last night, you didn't really have the perfect start that you dreamed for, but in the end, you came up to a top 10 finish. Tell us a little more about the night. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, it was a weird wreck, first of all. I've never had my car spin around so quickly before, uh, especially here, because I knew when Bronson slid up in front of me, I knew I was going to get aerotight. You always do here. And it, that same scenario has happened to me so many different times here. And you just, you know, you, you know you're going to get tied up in the cushion, and I, and I expected it. But, man, the way my car turned around, it just totally caught me off guard. And, and of course, you know, it, it just it really ruined our night, to be honest. But my guys did a great job. They pulled down the second car. We were able to get through the B main, and uh, we salvaged a, a decent finish of the night. But just uh, kudos to them for all their hard work. Um, it shows running the outlaw deal, how uh, important it is to stay organized in certain situations like that, you know, because we're out here racing for points and you can't give up a night because if you give up a night and don't make day main, it just kills you in, in that aspect. So um, they did a great job. They pulled down the spare car. Everything went pretty smooth and, and um, you know, we were able to get a top 10 out of it, which was a lot more than what I expected after after I crashed because I was, I was pretty sore. I had a big headache and but uh, the night ended up being okay. So you did have to come through the B main, but did that give you any little advantage as to getting used to the new car and getting used to the track? Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. I mean, all of our cars are pretty close. They're all the same, um, you know, and um, our motor programs, they're all relatively close to being the same as well. So it wasn't like we had a, a really weak engine upstairs in the race car. It was a, a good motor that we've run several times. So I really didn't feel, um, that you know pulling down a second car was really going to hurt us it was just like the car we had been racing all night so obviously getting the extra laps um it didn't hurt us i don't think because regardless i was going to be starting in the back of the a no matter what so uh the extra 12 laps that we gained um i think we did kind of build on our program a little bit and it probably helped us a little bit for the a main and when you come to knoxville do you already have a, like a setup that you're used to bringing or do you kind of change it depending on the weather no, we we're, we come here with a pretty a pretty close setup. Um, you know, we've we've ran pretty well here several times, and we've got a pretty good baseline of what to expect here. You know, obviously yesterday being so hot and windy, we really didn't know what to expect with the racetrack, but they did a great job with it. And I thought the racing was pretty good, um, but we got a pretty good baseline. And sometimes, you know, like last night, I didn't qualify very good, and you really can't pinpoint it on one thing or another. It just Sometimes you're faster and sometimes you're not, but uh, I feel like we always race well here, which is pretty important. All right, well, thank you very much and best of luck tonight. Thank you.